All right, as some of you may know, this car doesn't come with studs anymore. It is wheel bolts, kind of like this. So I picked these stud conversions from Motorsports Hardware. These are the ones that convert the bolt pattern of whatever this is right now. Um, let me check. So these are 14 by 1.5 pitch to convert to 12 by 1.5, which is standard Toyota, Hondas, Lexus. So that way I could reuse my lug nuts from my previous build or cars that I have. So I'm going to open this and install it and uh, I'll leave a link to where you can get these and then give my feedback on what I think of them. Here is one of the lug nuts uh, studs out of the bag. So you can see it's 1.5, I mean 14 by 1.5 and then it converts to 12 by 1.5 pitch. Let's see how this goes. So it also has an Allen right there for you to install it. Uh, this course specs are in here. Actually, I gotta open this and check out the torque specs. But basically, you can install it with an Allen key. And you're supposed to uh, put some Loctite on there. I'm just going to do a quick temporary install just to show you guys. So, yeah, that's one stud installed. It's a little longer than stock, which is okay. I got like two new lug nuts open and then. And then also, when you uninstall them after they're Loctite, they don't recommend using this. To take it off, you should use the dual two lug nut. And I'll show you how to do that, just for video at least. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll be right back. So I have a set of these temporarily threaded in, not locked tight yet. And then I come to find out that. The original lug bolts are um, ball shaped, so all the all the all the uh, there we go. all the aftermarket lug nuts I have is um, tapered like this. Versus this. So here is the lug nuts comparably sideways. So I need to do acorn shape with it. So what I end up doing is I contacted the guys at Motorsports Hardware again and ordered keys as well from them and some open-ended tuner lug nuts. Concerned these studs are like super long. And I won't be able to use most of my lug nuts. So just in case I have these. I also picks up, picked up some thread locker, medium strength, as recommended by them. Uh, I'm gonna get these installed and let you know how it goes. So for the stock wheels, you wanna get also pick these up right here. It's because the shape of the, the seat of the wheels is tight, slightly different. Here goes the after look aftermarket look that style acorn and these are ball style i believe they're called here is one of the stock look nuts you see the shape of it it's 
different. But if we use one of these adapters, so we use one of the adapters, you can tell that the shape is closer. More seating area. So you also want to use a thread locker on these when they're in. I'm still using these as temporarily, not final install yet. I'm gonna do the brakes as well. Get those done first. So yeah, I just wanted to show you all the pieces of all the Motorsports hardware kit, stud kit. It's M14 to M12, M14 one by 1.5 pitch to M12 115 pitch, which is standard for Toyotas and Lexuses. All right, here are the studs. I'm gonna actually torque them down the spec. I'm doing the brakes also at the same time. So, Motorsports hardware calls for medium strength thread locker. So I picked up this. I'll leave a link at the bottom below if you wanna pick up the same one, bought on Amazon. I also have a torque wrench, gear wrench version. Uh, Motorsports hardware calls for 25 pounds, 25 fa pounds, 25, yeah, call for 25 pounds. So I'm gonna do convert to Newton meters, which is 33.8. So here goes. So I'm gonna. Dip a little bit of the thread sealer on there, thread it in, and then torque them all down. I'm also going to use this to kind of hold the hub in place because there's nothing. This uh, this thing free spins right now, so it's going to be really hard to torque it down if you don't hold it. So I'll show you the technique I'm going to use. one of the studs So the ones I picked up are M14 convert to M12, which is what Toyota and Lexus usually use, all the Japanese cars and Hondas. I want to be able to use my lug nuts. Motorsports hardware did suggest I just go straight M12, I mean M14 to M14 uh, for strength wise. That's what they suggest, but I went the route so I could use my lug nuts that I have. Keep it the same. Hand thread all these into place. Put that aside. Torque wrench set to 
38, I mean 33.8 Newton meters, which is 25 pounds. I'm gonna slowly tighten these. Oh, and this bit, I forgot to bench in. At least for my setup, 5.5 millimeters. They also say that some are five millimeter. That is all done. So these are all torqued to 33 Newton meters, 33.8. Stud converted. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. There's a look of the extended stud conversion kit with their lug nuts, their tuner style open in it. This is a uh, MSH, Motorsports Hardware. Doesn't look out of place, actually. This is how it looks with the stock wheels. Just want to give people an idea.